In a technical specification, you can find out that the car has a specific charging rate. It can be up to 50 kilowatt, 100 kilowatt, 150 kilowatt, or even up to 250 kilowatt, like my Tesla Model 3 can do. But it's far from every time that the maximum speed is reached. Actually, it's rather seldom, and if all the conditions are optimized and the charging rate goes on the maximum, then it's only doing so for a short while during the whole charging session. Why is it like this? Why cannot the car charge on full capacity during the whole charging session? But first, this Kilo Watt, what is it? The K stands for Kilo, which equals with 1000. That leaves the W, Watt, and that is measuring what effect and how fast electrons can flow in a specific time unit. This should not be mixed with the term Kilowatt Hour, that is a measurement on how much energy you can store in a battery. Okay, I know that this is really tricky to understand, but think of it like filling water into a bucket like this. So the kilowatt is how fast the water is flowing. See how fast, not very much, now it's little kilowatt, and now when we take fast like this, it's fast flowing a lot of energy here. And now we are filling up this into the bucket. So we are filling this bucket fast. And now we are filling up this with energy. So in here we have an amount of kilowatt hour. And if we make this slower like this, it takes longer to fill it up. So, when the car has a certain charging capacity in kilowatt, it means in short terms how fast you can charge your car. But you can't translate that direct into the waiting time at a charging station, since there is so many other dependencies on how much capacity you can put into the car. This is the actual charger and here it's blowing warm, warm air from this fan here when when I'm charging. Yes, and this supercharger can only charge my car with 150 kilowatt, even if my car can take 250. So here it's going already slower. But the main factor to determine what charging speed will be used is how much power there is in the battery at a specific moment. The less, it faster it gets. But that means that the more the battery will be filled up, the charging rate will get slower. It's like filling up a glass with water. If doing it very fast and make it completely full, it's not easy <laughs> that it will be water everywhere. But filling it up without spilling, then it will take longer the last part to top it up to maximum. With a battery, it's out of question to do any spilling. But there is another factor that contributes to the charging speed at a supercharger, and that is that the battery needs to have an optimal temperature to reach the highest speed. If it's too cold, the charging will get slower. It's like having ice in the glass. Now we need to heat the ice cubes to get them liquid. But you cannot have a stove with you to heat up the battery. But you kind of have it anyway. More about that later. So what natural process 
are doing so the temperature in the battery is heated up. The discharge procedure produces heat. So driving for longer distance helps. Therefore, a tip is that if you're driving all day and come to a rest for the evening and you plan to continue the next day, it's better choice to supercharge in the evening than in the morning when the battery has cooled down. That's, of course, if there is no high-capacity destination charger at the place where you are staying. There is more and more Teslas out there, and the demand for supercharging is getting higher and higher. Therefore, Tesla is trying to reduce the time spent at the supercharger, and have added a function to precondition the battery. No, you don't need the stove, because the car is actually by itself heating up the battery. So you will have the optimal temperature when you arrive to the supercharger. You just have to tell the car that you're going there. That could be done in two ways. Either you put the destination in the navigation so far away so the car feels that it needs to supercharge on its way. Or simply put a supercharger as your destination. For example, if I want to navigate to some place far away, for example Luleå here, the car will calculate the route where I will drive and then it will calculate that I will stop in a supercharger in this place. And then it starts precondition the battery for faster charging. Or I can just simply navigate to a supercharger nearby. Then it will also start in the precondition battery for faster charging. Okay, so now we have all the condition fulfilled, so let's see if we can get the specified charging speed. We go to a supercharger that is capable of charging 250 kilowatt. We drove there for quite a long time, the car was preconditioned, the battery, and we have quite a low state of charge. Yes, we managed to reach the 250 kilowatt charging rate as specified for my Tesla Model 3.